my light on, that'll be better. Uh, good morning. Uh, welcome to the uh, the markup this morning. Pursuant to the notice, the Subcommittee on Space and Aeronautics uh, meets to consider the following measure. H.R. 6063, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration Authorization Act of 2008. Um, have some opening remarks, and then um, we'll move forward. Uh, see with the markup, beginning with opening statements. And before we get started, I'd like to note that Chairman Udall had intended to chair this morning's markup. Unfortunately, had his flight back east canceled three times due to mechanical problems and had to spend the night back in Colorado. Looking on the bright side, it certainly helps make the case for a strong aeronautics and aviation R&D program, which is what the legislation before us today promotes. Uh, nevertheless, I know that Chairman Udall would have preferred to be here, and we will insert his opening remarks into this record uh, of this markup. Before I turn to Mr. Feeney for any opening remarks that he would care to make, uh, I'd just like to make a few brief comments on why I support this bill. First, it is a common sense bill that will deliver a balanced and productive space and aeronautics R&D program for the nation with important initiatives in human space flight, science, and aeronautics. It sets NASA on a good course for the future. Second is a fiscally responsible bill. Baseline authorization provides simply an inflationary increase of 2.8 percent over the fiscal year 2008 authorization level that was enacted into law in the NASA Authorization Act of 2005. Third, it takes clear steps to narrow the human spaceflight gap that will result after the space shuttle is retired by providing additional funding to accelerate the development of the Orion Crew Exploration Vehicle and ARIS-1 Crew Launch Launch Vehicle. And finally, H.R. 6063 will help ensure that NASA's centers are healthy and capable of supporting the agency's challenging missions. In short, I think that is a good bill, and I urge my fellow members to support it. With that, I would like to turn to my good friend, Mr. Feeney, for an opening statement, if he'd like to make. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Today we lay out a bipartisan blueprint for sustaining a healthy and vigorous NASA during the next administration. I thank the chairman for his leadership and Chairman Udall as well in this effort that I think has netted the full committee's support and the subcommittee's leadership from both sides of the aisle. We can uh, share pride in that accomplishment. As the chairman outlined in some detail, this bill provides good stewardship for all of NASA's enterprises, Earth and space sciences, aeronautics, and human spaceflight. Considerable care has been devoted to all elements of NAS NASA's portfolio. I look forward to continued success and excellence in all of our NASA endeavors. Each success brings enormous value and prestige to NASA and the American people. Because I represent the Kennedy Space Center area, I want to particularly note the unambiguous endorsement of America's human spaceflight program. Five years ago, in the aftermath of the Columbia accident, we were looking through a glass very darkly. But today we see more clearly human spaceflight's future. We will complete the International Space Station and then strive to utilize its full potential. We will also set forth to explore beyond low Earth orbit with the moon as the first of many destinations. These are ambitious goals. We're a strong, optimistic people willing to take up any challenge. And as this bill highlights, we invite others throughout the world to join us in this journey that America does for all mankind. So thank you, Mr. Chairman, for affirming much needed stability in our direction for the human spaceflight program. We would not have achieved this legislative outcome without talented and accomplished staff. I want to thank Staff Director Dick Oberman, and I had the pleasure of uh, touring some of Colorado with uh, Mr. Oberman, and the rest of the uh, majority staff for their efforts. Uh, from the beginning, Mr. Oberman has engaged his Republican counterparts and our entire staff and treated their concerns and suggestions with respect and care and it's why I suspect we'll have a relatively smooth hearing this morning. We're appreciative of the tone and the tenure of this approach. I also want to thank our staff, especially Ed Fetterman and Ken Monroe from the Republican staff, whose wisdom and counsel are highly valued. So we appreciate that, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you for holding this uh, markup this morning. Thank you, Mr. Feeney. I um, appreciate your, your remarks. And uh, does anyone else wish to uh, be recognized? Okay, with that, then uh, we proceed. I, I would ask unanimous consent that the bill is considered as read and open to amendment 
at any point and that the members proceed with the amendments in order of the roster uh, without objection. So ordered. Thank you. Um, are there any amendments? Hearing none, the vote is on the bill. H.R. 6063, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration Authorization Act of 2008. All those in favor will say aye. <laughs> aye. <laughs> All those opposed say no. Uh, hearing no, no objections, um, uh, go ahead and proceed then. Uh, bill. Uh, Mr. I'd like to recognize you all for a motion. Mr. Chairman, I would move that the subcommittee favorably report H.R. 6063 to the full committee. Furthermore, I move that the staff be instructed to prepare the subcommittee legislative report and make necessary and technical changes and conforming changes to the bills amended in accordance with the recommendations of the subcommittee. Therefore, the question is on the motion to report the bill favorably. Those in favor of the motion will signify by saying aye. Aye. Any nays? Uh, not hearing any. Um, without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid upon the table. Subcommittee members will have two subsequent calendar days in which to submit supplemental minority or additional views on the measure ending Friday, May 23, at 9 a.m. Um, if there's no other business, um, then I would like to thank the members for their attendance, and this will conclude our, sub our committee, subcommittee markup. Thank you. Adjourned.